So hello JC. Uh, hey. Good good day I guess. Because I can see it's yeah. daylight behind you. So um, uh, I'm Yahya from Madcom.id. Uh, maybe uh, you could introduce yourself first. Sure. Yeah. My name is JC Stewart. I'm a singer, songwriter based in London, originally from Northern Ireland. Um, and yeah, I, I sing songs and stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, okay, for, first question. If you could describe your style of music with one word, what would it be? I don't know if it's one word, but depressing pop music. There's three words. If you put them all into one word, depressing pop music. Sure. That's how I would do it. <laughs> what, would, what, what, what was that the depressing? Because uh, when I listened to your songs, instead, what I felt was hopeful, you know? That's good. Yeah, I mean, I think lyrically, they're not depressing, but they're 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 sad leaning. But there is often a little a little bit of hope at the end of it. So yeah, I like that you feel hopeful. That's cool. All right, all right. Um, so next question: What would what was it like, you know, working with uh, famous artists such as Louis Capaldi, uh, Niall Horan, and Tom Odell? You know? It's it's pretty crazy. It still baffles me to this day that I was allowed to do that and continued to be allowed to do that. Um, yeah, it's amazing. You know, Lewis I met before he was famous, um, so we've been working together for years. He's, I think he's coming here after I finish this interview. We're going to write some more songs together. So, and Tom O'Dell was a hero of mine since forever. Um, I'm going to see his live show tomorrow night. Can't wait. It's going to be insane. Wow. And Niall Horan is Niall Horan. Like, what, what can we say? What a guy. Uh, you, know? <laughs> so, you know, were you uh, starstruck by meeting him? Um, no, because all of them I kind of met naturally. You know, I always met them through friends or we were in the studio together. So, no, I wasn't I wasn't starstruck so much. I was just like, it's one of those ones you sit there, and especially when you're working with someone and they're on the piano or whatever singing and you're just on your own and you're like, wow, that's kind of cool. <laughs> you know, I yeah. was listening to them singing music. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, so, you know, I heard, uh, no, actually, I uh, watched in one of your interviews that you actually don't like being asked, you know, What's the meaning behind you, behind your songs? But you know, man, I gotta ask this. Uh, you gotta ask. It's good. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> like, out of all your songs, you know, which one do you think is the most personal to you? Personal to me is a song I released last year called "Loud." It was just a little piano song I released in mm-hmm. the middle of last year about. Uh, I, I sort of lost my way a bit during COVID and was just feeling really down for a long time and couldn't write songs or whatever. And "Loud" was the first song that I came back with and was essentially about how my girlfriend had been able to pull me out of sort of feeling really bad for a while and I was able to just I felt like the lyrics I was able to write for it exactly said what I wanted to say which is really rare that that comes together so that is one and I think Love Like That would be next up there to be honest you know it really says what I wanted to say in that song Mm. okay well you know regarding the COVID and pandemic uh, do you think it affects you both personally and professionally Sure. I mean, I think personally it was really good and then really tough and then really good and then really tough. And then I think hopefully we're coming to the end of it now and I'm glad because professionally there's been really good moments, but definitely, you know, it's not been what I wanted to happen. You know, I've, I've not really got to play many shows over the past two years and that's what I think I do best. Uh, I haven't been able to travel a lot, but you know what? Life's what you make it. This thing happened to a lot of people and I've been very lucky that I've come out of it with sort of the most amazing group of people around me and I'm very proud of what I'm still doing, you know? Sure, sure. All right. That's cool. Um, so, you know, okay, this is a bit of trivia, right? What would you like to be if you're not a musician? Oh, okay. So I wanted to be an archaeologist. Oh, why is that? Um, archaeologist, you know, like Indiana Jones, you know, an archaeologist ah. is like when somebody digs up history, you know, yeah. they go like yeah. looking for treasure or whatever. I would have wanted to be that or a pilot, but probably an archaeologist. I think that would have been the dream, which is really so, nerdy and boring. You know, <laughs> is it safe to say that your favorite movie would be Indiana Jones? Always, forever and always. He is my, he's, I honestly, they shot a new movie in the UK and I literally, I tried everything. I was asking everybody I know in work film, I'm like, I just want to be an extra, just a tiny part, please. I couldn't get there. But no, Indiana Jones is my hero. I love him. Okay. So, uh, you know, uh, Indonesia, right? It it is like the you know the most, I mean, archaeological uh, holy grail of the world. I I mean I would guess like I'm a bit biased. So, 
yeah. actually, what what do you know about Indonesia? Indonesia. Well, I know the food's great. I know it's very pretty, and I know yeah, there's incredible history there, right? That's the that's the thing. I'd love I'd love to come learn more about it. Honestly, like I might come play a show with this, then just stay for two weeks and go on like history tours, like a like a like a little nerd. I love it. <laughs> yeah, you should. should. Well, well, have you have you tried the food here? I, I've been to one Indonesian restaurant, I think, before in New York, and I think it, it was amazing. But everybody keeps telling me how good it, the food is there because I've never been to Indonesia, so I need to come and try it. Yeah, you should come here. It's it's pretty uh pretty awesome here. So uh, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, that's all the questions I have. Again, congratulations for your uh, new single, Love Like That, and uh, you know, thanks for your time. Thanks, yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me. All right. So uh, yeah, goodbye and have a good day. See you later. All right. Medcom.id, a part of Media Group Network.